your pump is ready for use. Simply plug it into any ground fault circuit interrupter. Warning, to avoid the risk of electrical shock, never run the filter pump when the pool is in use. Cleaning and maintaining your filter pump is recommended every two weeks. Begin by unplugging the pump. Next, close the connection valve to prevent water flowing to the pump. Remove the filter cartridge and rinse it clean. If it remains soiled and discolored, replacement is necessary. Filter replacement is recommended every two weeks. Check your local retailer for best way replacement filters. Replace the filter cartridge ensuring it is centered in the pump. Check that the filter cap seal is in place and close the pump. Next, open the connection valve to allow water to flow to the pump. And finally, unscrew the air purge valve to release any trapped air from the system. Ladder assembly. To assemble the steps, start with racing pipe A. Make sure the leg curves outwards. Align the steps and slide the retention bracket into position, completely inserting the pegs. Make sure the arrows line up. Continue with the remaining steps, ensuring all components correspond A to A and B to B. With the bottom sections complete, attach both night heads to one of the bottom sections. Ensure the warning labels face outward on the night heads. Next, attach the curved handles and insert the screws, but do not tighten. Connect the remaining set of steps and screw all the components securely together. Test for stability. If you have a 48 inch or 121 centimeter ladder, follow the previous steps to assemble the legs and then attach the support board, inserting the screws, but do not tighten. Next, attach the curved handles and insert the screws. Again, don't tighten. Connect the remaining legs and tighten all screws. Please note, refer to the printed manual to determine which hardware to use and where. To complete assembly, fix the warning boards to the platform. Cleaning and maintaining your pool. Some best way pools come with pool covers. It is always a good idea to cover the pool when it's not in use to keep the water clean. Some best way pools come with an interchangeable pool maintenance kit. To assemble the maintenance tools, simply snap the spring-loaded pins into the pre-drilled holes. With the pole assembled, you can install the skimmer head to remove floating debris from the pool. Use the vacuum with your garden hose to clean the pool walls and floor. The running water activates the vacuum and pushes the debris into the collection bag. Once you have cleaned the pool, remove the collection bag and rinse it. Some best way pools come with a chemical floater. All best way pools require the use of pool chemicals. Consult your local pool supply retailer for information about chemical maintenance. Some best way pools come with a deluxe pool maintenance kit. Working with the filter pump, the deluxe pool maintenance kit can be used as both a skimmer to remove surface debris and a powerful vacuum to clean the pool liner. To set up the deluxe pool maintenance kit, begin by assembling the hook by putting the adjustable pole through the adjustable fastener. Attach the assembled hook to the skimmer body. Connect the hose to the bottom of the skimmer body and fix the hook onto the pool wall. Ensure the skimmer is positioned near the pool's outlet valve. For pools equipped with connection valves, remove the strainer for pools with stopper plugs, remove the plug or debris screen from inside the pool and insert the hose adapter. Connect the hose to the hose adapter. 
To operate the skimmer, insert the float into the skimmer body and adjust the location of the skimmer so the top of the float is parallel with the water surface. Please note the skimmer should be perpendicular to the water surface at all times. Turn on the filter pump to activate the skimmer. To clean the skimmer, remove the float and empty any debris. To operate the vacuum, assemble the vacuum components by placing the debris bag into the vacuum body and tightening the cap. Insert the vacuum bag into the skimmer body and screw it into position. Now, attach the vacuum head to the pole. Ensure the spring-loaded pins snap into position. Connect the vacuum hose to both the vacuum head and the hose connector and tighten the hose clamps. Put the hose into the pool and fill it with water. Fasten the connector to the vacuum cap. Turn on the filter pump to activate the vacuum. To adjust the length of the pole, simply twist the handles and set to the desired length. Twist the handles to lock the pole into position. Once you've finished vacuuming the pool liner, unplug the filter pump and remove any debris from the collection bag. To drain your pool, simply attach your garden hose to the provided adapter. Place the other end of the hose in a drain area. Unscrew the drain valve cover and screw the adapter into the valve. This opens the valve and releases the water. If a repair patch is needed, dry the area to be repaired. Remove the patch backing and place the patch over the damaged area. Smooth the surface and remove any air bubbles. At the end of the season, it is important to completely clean and dry your pool and other components before storage. We recommend a wet dry vac to thoroughly dry the filter pump and hoses. To further enhance the lifespan of the filter cap seal, coat the seal with petroleum jelly. Store the pool and other components in a warm, dry place. All these simple steps will ensure your best way pool has a long life. If you have any questions about our products, 